Hey everybody, sorry about that, I'm back. Um, and I actually uh, forgot to, uh, or missed that I pressed, did not press the uh, pause or uh, end button. So this is why this is the same podcast, same episode, but it might be coming up as a, a second episode, even though that I didn't mean for it to, because I had to take a section out <laughs> of uh, the podcast and the ed- edit uh, editing part of the app, and when I did that, it wouldn't let me continue recording from where I was. So anyway, um, talking about self-care, right? So it's important to assess how you're caring for yourself in several different domains so you can ensure you're caring for your mind, body, and spirit, which is so true. So different types of self-care. Self-care isn't just about finding ways to relax. It's about taking care of your so mentally, physically, and emotionally Socially and spiritually, well, like we were just talking about before. I have a feeling that as I'm wrapping this up, it's probably going to give us a lot of the same examples of what we were saying uh, on the other uh, source that we are reading from. But the thing is that, well, it's like they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? So if it's if it's the thing that works for you, if it's the thing that's been proven, then, you know, why well, change much, right? Uh, anyway, so in order to care for your health and well-being... It is important to find a balance that allows you to address each of these areas. Sometimes you might need more self-care if one specific area um, in order to restore balance or find relief from a stressor in your life. The seven pillars of self-care fall into the following areas. Physical, social, mental, spiritual, emotional, recreational, and environmental. Right. So let's see. They're talking about physical self-care, social self-care. Uh, so let's see. Um, you need to take care of your body if you want it to run ef- effectively, efficiently. Sorry. Keep in mind that there's a strong connection between your body and your mind. When you're caring for your body, you'll think and feel better too. Physical self-care includes how you're feeling your body, how much sleep you're getting, how much physical activity you're doing, and how well you're caring for your physical needs. Attending health care appointments, attend, uh, taking medica- medications as prescribed, and managing your health are all part of good physical self-care. You know, yeah, it's like, you know, I've been talked about it before, Dr. Savella, but I've got him tomorrow. So that's a good way of how I'm taking care of my physical self, you know. Um, when it comes to physical self-care, ask yourself the following questions to assess whether there might be some areas you need to improve. Are you getting adequate sleep? Sleep? Sweep? Wow, see? <laughs> you know, it shows I'm not getting good sleep. What's that sweep? How out of it am I? Um, is your diet feeling your body well? Are you taking charge of your health? Are you getting enough exercise? So the other ones, I think I'm doing pretty well, except maybe on the lack of the sleep part, especially from this weekend. Uh, social self-care. Here we go again. Socialization is key to self-care, but often it's hard to make time for friends and it's easy to neglect your relationships when life gets busy. Close connections are important for your, to your well-being. The best way to cultivate and to maintain closer relationship is to put time and energy into building your relationship with others. There isn't a certain number of hours you should devote to your friends um, um, or work on your relationships. Everyone has slightly different social needs. The key is to figure out what your social needs are and to build enough time in your schedule to re- create an optimal social life. Right, so, like I was saying before, I prioritize, you know, certain time for certain people and uh, certain things, right? And I feel like if you have a good balance like that, then, you know, you'll have a much more balanced life. I mean, it's kind of obvious. So, Mental self-care, the way um, you think and the things you're uh, filling your mind with greatly influence your psychological well-being. Mental self-care includes doing things that keep your mind sharp, like puzzles or learning about a subject that fascinates you. You might find reading books or watching movies that inspire you feel uh, that, wow, movies that inspire you feels your mind. Um, <laughs> like when I watched a martial arts kung fu or kung fu movie, and then I wanted to go off and imitate what those people were doing because it made me want to practice martial arts, you know, uh, in a way. Uh, mental self care also involves doing things that help you stay mentally, physically, stay mentally, physically, practicing self compassion, acceptance. They, uh, 
That sentence not right. That period should not be there. This is kind of a weird sentence. Um, an acceptance, for example, helps you maintain a healthier inner dialogue. So basically, a lot of the spiritual self, emotional, a lot of these are kind of saying the same thing. Sorry, I'm kind of reading the same article again, but what I'm getting at here is, and sorry if like in this podcast I'm kind of like rambling on and not really making a whole lot of sense. I'm I'm kind of tired. Like I said, sorry about that. Um, and sorry that this is kind of like a episode two of what. Just stretching right now. This is an episode two of what I was trying to say earlier in the first um, episode. Because uh, it's supposed to be the same episode, but like I said, it's a continuation because I forgot to uh, press the uh, or press the pause button. <laughs> so I had to uh, re-record this one. But everyone out there, look, just take care of your mental health. Do what makes you happy and... Make sure that whatever you do also reflects of how you want your life to be. You know, whether that's, again, physical or mental or both. You know, make sure you got a good job that makes you happy. Make sure you're doing physical, mental things that make you happy. Make sure you're surrounding yourself with the right people. Make sure you're doing things that, you know, always help your stresses of life not get in the way because of how stressors can get in the way. You know, like, hmm. Eight times out of ten, life isn't fair. Eight times out of ten, life is tough. Eight times out of ten, life likes to push things back in your face, right? So that's why I always feel like it's important for us to do things mentally for us that can make us feel better and that are good for us. So that way, no matter how things can get, you can always look at the brighter side of things and realize that, you know, this might not be fair at the time. This might not be fun. I might not like this. Part of life, I might hate this, but I got to think about the good things in my life that bring me happiness, that bring me joy, that make me realize, you know what? Life isn't so bad even when it can get bad. Does it make any sense? So what I'm basically getting at is that do what you can to make you mentally uh, happy and healthy and no matter how life hard how hard life gets, no, life hard, hard life, I'm tired. No matter how hard life gets, don't let it get the best of you. I know it's easier said than done. Um, But yeah, basically, I want to wrap things up here. Uh, Sorry if I rambled on a little bit. Sorry if the examples I was trying to give uh, from the article I read, uh, they didn't really make a whole lot of sense. But, you know, I was just trying to give my own reflection based off of, like, what I went through in my life and things of the nature, but I'm also trying to, like, talk while being, like, halfway awake, so, again, because of the inadequate sleep, I'm very tired, so, if I'm not, if I'm kind of rambling on, that's why I'm not meaning to, but this is what they mean by your mental health, you know, like, because I'm not getting very good adequate, 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 wow, see, there we go, adequate sleep, I, um, I might not be making a whole lot of sense, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, this has been Comfort to Catch Off, slash Mr. Smiles a lot. With another Let's Talk Me to LC audio podcast, my second recording, even though that was supposed to be part of the first one, um, due to me not pressing the right buttons on this app here to pause. But anyway, thank you all <clears throat> so much for listening. Um, thank you all for tuning in. Um, I'll be probably doing another podcast either later on today or uh, tonight just to, you know, help make up for this one because I'm very tired. Like I said, I need to hope I get a second wind. But I love you all. Thank you all for listening. If you need a market advertiser and you live in St. Louis, or if you need a martial arts coach, let me know. Like my slogan says, I'm here to talk about all of your needs. I love you all so much, and I'll see you next time.